Hello, this is Ed from PracticalNetworking.net. In this video, I'm going to teach you about broadcasts, specifically the difference between a local broadcast and a directed broadcast. Here's the topology we'll be using. We have three routers that are connecting the networks for host 1, 2, and 3 on the left to the network for host 4, 5, and 6 on the right. The definition of a broadcast is simply a frame or packet that is destined to everyone on a network. By comparison, Sort of the opposite of that would be a unicast, which is a frame or packet destined to a single host. These two types of messages are sometimes referred to as one-to-one -one communications, which is unicast, or one-to-all communications, which is broadcast. Now notice I said frame or packet. These are layer two and layer three constructs, respectively. At layer two, a broadcast is any layer two header with a destination MAC address of all Fs. This is a specially reserved MAC address, which implies that this particular frame needs to be delivered to everybody on the network. At layer three, there are two options for what goes in the destination IP address field. Those two options are the local broadcast or the directed broadcast. Directed broadcast is sometimes referred to as targeted broadcast. Those are simply two terms that mean the same thing. Either way, let's talk about the concepts of local broadcast versus directed broadcast. The local broadcast is the destination IP address 255.255.255.255. This is a special reserved IP address, which indicates that this particular packet should be delivered to everybody on the local network. But rather than just tell you, I want to show this to you. This topology on your screen is actually something I've built in GNS3. It just looks prettier with the IP addresses and the labels in PowerPoint. But we can use these hosts to prove the behavior of the local broadcast and in a moment, the directed broadcast. So let's jump on host one. Let's send something to the local broadcast IP address. Now first I want to show you for comparison purposes a unicast. This is a message that is a one-to-one. -one. I'm going to shoot a ping to host 3's IP address. This is probably something you've done many times before. This is an example of a unicast packet. Notice I sent a ping to host 3 and I got a response from host 3. Now let's actually test the local broadcast IP address. Now notice on the 10.1.1.0 network I have four nodes. I've got each of the hosts, host one, two, and three, and I also have router one's IP address. Router one has an IP address on the 10.1.1.0/24 network, which means if I send something to the local broadcast IP address, I should expect four responses because there are four nodes on that network. So let's go ahead and shoot something to the IP address 255.255.255.255. Here's the ping that I shot, and notice I got four responses. One from host three, one from host two, one from host one, it responded to itself, and then finally one from the router, from 10.1.1.1. So that's an example of a local broadcast. I was able to use the IP address 255.255.255.255 to speak to every host on the local network. So now let's talk about directed broadcast. The directed broadcast IP address is the broadcast IP of each subnet. So to figure out what this is, you just have to do a little bit of subnetting. If you want to learn how to do subnetting, go and check out the subnetting mastery playlist. There'll be a link in the description. Otherwise, notice host one is on the 10.1.1.0/24 network. The broadcast IP address of that network is 10.1.1.255, and I can use that IP address to send a packet to every host on the local IP network, just like the local broadcast. Let me show this to you. Over here, I had sent something to the local broadcast IP address. Now I'm going to show you that I can do the same thing using the directed broadcast IP address. I'll shoot a ping to the IP address 10.1.1.255, and I should expect four responses. And just as expected, here are those four responses. One from host two, from host three, from host one. Again, it responded to itself, and then also one from the router. So that proves the behavior of the local broadcast and the directed broadcast. And you can use either of these things to send a packet to every host on the local IP network. Now, you might be asking yourself, why do we have two different items that do the exact same thing? That's a great question. The reason is you can also do something else with a directed broadcast that you can't do with a local broadcast. That something else is that you can use the directed broadcast to send a packet to every host on a foreign network as well. Notice over here, we've got the 10.3.3.0 slash 25 network. 
From host 1's perspective, that's a foreign network that exists somewhere on the other side of the internet. We can use the directed broadcast IP address of this subnet to send a packet to everybody on this network. Now since this is a slash 25 network, the directed broadcast IP address for that network is 10.3.3.127. So let me prove that to you. We'll bring up host 1 again, and we'll make this a little bit smaller so we can see the host in the background. And I'm going to shoot a ping to the directed broadcast IP address of the 10.3.3 network. Again, there are four nodes on that network, the router, and then the three hosts, and so we should expect to receive four responses. If I hit enter here, you'll notice I received four responses. One from each of the hosts, and then one from router 3 itself. Now, oddly, router 3 decided to respond from this interface IP address, the 10.2.3.3. I would have expected router 3 to respond from this interface IP address, 10.3.3.3. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's working as intended. Either way, it does show you that you can use a directed broadcast to send a packet to every host on a foreign IP network. So that's the difference between the local broadcast and a directed broadcast. To recap, a broadcast is a frame or packet destined to everyone on a network. At layer 2, that would mean the destination MAC address is all Fs. At layer 3, there are two options for the destination IP address. Those two options are the local broadcast IP address, which is all 255s, or the directed broadcast IP address, which is the broadcast IP address of the subnet. Now it's worth understanding that being able to send a packet from one network to every host of another network is generally regarded as a security risk. So on pretty much all modern OSs and modern routers, directed broadcasts are disabled by default. In fact, for this to work in the GNS3 lab that I built, I had to explicitly re-enable directed broadcasts. So if you do this in your own labs, you might see something different because of these default behaviors. Either way, that's it for the short version of this video. In the long version of this video, I'm actually going to do the exact same test, but we'll set up packet captures on this link and on this link, and I'll actually show you the layer 2 and layer 3 headers to prove to you that it works the way I said that it did. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and sharing this content across your social networks. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.